G'day everybody, I am X-Ray Racer 1 and this is part 1 of the 3 Racing Sakura Ultimate Build Series. Now part 1 we will be doing an unboxing of this kit and uh, this is something I've been planning for a while. Um, for those who have been subscribed to my channel uh, know that I do build series on um, radio control cars plus I also film uh, the, some of the racing that I do but uh, in the build series of cars that I've built over time um, the cars that I've built have been I guess you could call them high-end kits and like for instance the, my X-Ray T414 um, my team associated B5M buggy uh, an X-Ray XB4 buggy and etc so and they've also been aimed at um, races and hobbyists who I guess you could say aren't short of a dollar or two or a pound depending on what country you're from they're not short of money and also they're high-end race kits so I was uh, thinking to myself I haven't done a build series that's aimed at someone who's wanting to get into racing and and for those that know me and and um, I subscribe to my channel know that I'm also partial to uh, certain products and not just certain cars um, and so I thought to myself I should do a build series that's aimed at um, not just a newcomer to the hobby but also a newcomer to someone who wants to get into racing and so I was trolling through the internet and um, I was on RC Mart and I thought I'll and it's their uh, 13th year anniversary so I thought I'll see what they've got on sale and I came across this kit now this kit, um, I'll be quoting, I'll be quoting Australian dollar prices. Um, this kit was two hundred and seventy dollars with free shipping, and I thought to myself, this will be perfect. Now this kit is also a carbon fiber kit, and. Um, it's kind. It's it's a bit like a clone of some of your high end uh, race kits, but um, this, like I said, this kit is two hundred and seventy dollars. So I thought this would be perfect for this build series that I've been planning. And to give you an idea, because what I have to do as well is you'll need to provide a steering servo, an electronic speed controller a motor depending on um, what class you want to run uh, I believe this kit also comes with just wheels so you'd have to provide tires but I provide wheels and tires and you need a body and uh, I'm not sure if I just mentioned it but also your own radio system so I've decided what I'm going to do in this build series is I'm going to see how far I, go, I can go in is keeping this, this uh, build series as cheap as possible for the newcomer Okay, so to give you an idea of a price comparison, I'll just give you a quick look at my X-Ray T414. Now, this kit here, this is my X-Ray T414. Now, to give you a price comparison, the chassis itself, because I bought this from RC Mart as well, and it was free shipping. The chassis itself, or chassis, depending on what country you're from, uh, was, if I remember correctly, was $540 Australian with free shipping. Okay? 
Now, the servo that's in it is $70. The speed controller is about $200. The motor that's in it, uh, it's a Trinity RevTech motor. It's, um, it's uh, if I remember correctly, it was just over a hundred dollars. I think I can't remember. And then uh, you have uh, the, this isn't the body that I originally did for it in the build series, but it uh, the protoform body that was for it. Um, I think you know protoform body they're like thirty odd dollars. I mean, depending on where you get it from. And then there's the radio system. I'm using a Sanwa M11 or Airtronics M11. Um, I remember I think they were about $600 back in the day. So as you can see, that's really added up. Yeah, that's quite an expensive kit, and that's just one car. So I decided to I'm going to try in this build series to try and keep it as cheap as possible. So this kit. It was two hundred and seventy dollars. Um, it's usually because it was also on sale, and it was uh, usually about three hundred and something Australian dollars. So for the time being, it's two hundred and seventy dollars. So now we'll need a servo. From RC Mart, I also got a it's called a Fitech digital servo. This is a low profile digital servo. Metal geared, 20 bucks. So we also need a body. Also from RC Mart, I got a Blitz. Uh, I believe it's a Subaru WRX body. Um, it's for touring car racing, $17. Okay, so I'll just put that down there. Um, a radio system. Now this is an old radio I've got. This here is my old Venom radio, but Hobby King have them for I think they're like thirty odd dollars from the Australian warehouse. Now to give you another comparison, here's a Hobby King uh, receiver. That receiver is five bucks, so you can see what I mean. It's a lot cheaper. And I'll also, you also need an uh, electronic speed controller, so it's uh, going to be a brushless system. Hobby King 80 amp uh, speedy, 35 bucks. And also, now for the motor, I'm going to be using a Tekken 21.5 turn motor. Okay, so that's the motor. Um, I mean, I did a, re a review on this oh, quite some time back. It's a good motor. I'm not going to buy another 21 and a half turn motor, but what I will do is in the link I'll, I'll leave a link to in I'm um, in the description box. I will leave a link to the Hobby King website for the Turnergy um, Trackstar motors. Now they had a 21 and a half turn motor there. I checked. I'll leave a link to it. Turnergy Trackstar 21 and a half turn motor, 35 bucks. I mean you can see. That's really cheap. So that's what we'll be using. So without any more talking about what I'll be using and how cheap I'm going to be, that kind of sounded wrong, didn't it? How cheap? Anyway, um, what I'm going to do is we will unbox this and have a look inside. And um, this isn't my first three racing kit. I actually have a three racing. Uh, Formula One car. You'll have to, have to excuse me a sec, folks. This actually only arrived about an hour ago. So, um, okay. So here we go, folks. In the box. Plenty of bags, as you can see. Plenty of aluminium parts. Got a ba battery strap, body post, double sided tape. Some screws and washers. This looks like part of the front bumper uh, assembly. Okay, so it comes with wheels. You have to provide tyres. So we've got wheel hexes, wheel nuts, body clips, the front bumper. Bumper's fairly firm actually. 
We have our shock assembly. By the looks of the number on the shock oil, it's 35 weight. So we have our shock assembly and springs. We have aluminium, uh, like bulkheads and uh, pulley uh, assembly for the holding the uh, pulley system. All right, we got belts part of our steering rack assembly, so if you can't see it because of the light more washers, bearings and screws and we have here our CVD shafts, now this is interesting, they come pre-assembled which is pretty good, saves time our, my least favourite part of building a kit, the uh, turnbuckle assembly <laughs> alright we have our upper deck as you can see, it is carbon fibre. We have other top part of the bulkheads, more screws, servo horns. Now this comes with a gear diff, and it has an eight eighty-five tooth spur. Comes seems to be pre-assembled, which is quite interesting. Never ever seen that before. But, you know, there's a first for everything. This is a different kit. Um, we've got our diff oil and pulleys. And we come to the business end, the main chassis. If you look at it, it looks a bit like the Hot Bodies TCXX with all the cutouts and everything. And we've got kingpins, kingpin uh, suspension arm holders. Well, yeah, this looks pretty cool, folks. And most importantly, we have our instruction manual. Do not lose this when you're building your kit, because if you need to buy spare parts, you'll be lost without it. And some decals. So, that is the unboxing and initial thoughts of the kit. Stay tuned for part two where I will be starting the assembly. Stay tuned, folks.